Welcome to Ego Health and Clinical Services Bulletin. My name is Dr. Sikuku, Director of Ego Nursing Home. I'm privileged this hour to talk about Ego Nursing Home that has three branches. That's Ego Health and Clinic Services Kangemi, Ego Health and Clinic Services Kibera, Ego and Health Clinic Services Kawangware. These are facilities situated in a, in a slum area to offer services that are very comprehensive to the underserved community. I'm privileged to talk about something that is happening in the community that is affecting the young and the old because of lack of knowledge. And this one is something called EPIL. EPIL is an emergency pill that uh, ladies are using without having proper knowledge. This EPIL is also called morning after pill. Morning after pill is a method that women use when they indulge in an unprotected sex. Secondly, is a method they use in case of a rupture of a productive device, a barrier, especially a condom. Thirdly, is a, this is a method that women use in case a rape case emergence. And fourth, is a method they use when having unprotected sex. So, why do they use this method? This method is only used when they're in emergence. For instance, when they have unprotected sex and they are, they are on their fertility period. Therefore, what am I trying to say is a method that they use not as a family planning method, but as an emergence pill to protect unwanted pregnancy. Therefore, I have a privilege to bring this exposure to you so that uh, we, bang, we become conscious and we become vigilant in the manner of using of this method. Uh, this method, uh, how it works is that it has a lot of hormones that are put together, especially the, the, the progesterone, that uh, control or, or the, takes care of the ovum. The ovum is a, an egg that when it's released from, the, from, the, from, from where it's supposed to be, it's lost its movement. When it's lost its movement, it cannot reach the area of fertility in time. If fertility takes place, you'll find that this ovum will be fertilized not at the right place. In the process, you'll find that the ovum will form something called a zygote, and this zygote will rupture the fallopian tube. So what will happen? That's what we call a ectopic pregnancy that has ruptured. Therefore, any unwanted pregnancy, not in the uterus, but in the fallopian tube, that's what we call an ectopic pregnancy. The pregnancy is implanted at the wrong place, the fallopian tube. The side effect is that uh, when somebody is using this uh, e-pill, you find that somebody will uh, experience vomiting and therefore if you vomit when you're on using this e-pill that, that's a, a gesture to demonstrate that this drug will not have assisted you because when you take this drug immediately uh, when you've indulged in unprotected sex you should take it before 72 hours is over so when you take it after 72 hours then that one means that you've missed the mark secondly if you vomit then that one means that the drug is not going to help you thirdly uh, nausea is is evident so when you take this drug be aware that you'll have nausea the fourth uh, uh, we'll have experience pervaginal bleeding and this bleeding might be caused by hormonal imbalance therefore you be prepared because of hormonal imbalance you can experience this so what am i trying to tell you is that uh, <clears throat> this is something that uh, when you're going to indulge in it it has its own cost the complication that happen <coughs> happen when you're on e pill is quite evident and is quite merciful and this one is a drive force to to alert the coming generation that please please make sure that you understand the nature of activity you are indulging in. First of all, the complication that arises with taking e-pill is that 
in case you take an EPL, there is something, a complication that can happen, which is rampant at this time. You find that every 10 pregnancy, you cannot miss two complications of EPL. That one is ectopic pregnancy. Ectopic pregnancy is very dangerous because by any chance, it ruptures the fallopian tube. That means that you have lost one fallopian tube. And I'm imagining because you're so young, you rupture the second tube, then that means that now you are rendered useless. That means the future generation is not part and parcel of your life. Secondly, uh, something that I want to talk about is also, I uh, want to insist that uh, when somebody is taking EPIL, they indulge in unprotected sex without being conscious. And you find that in this nature, they are really exposed to sexually transmitted disease because they think that they are protected from sex, from pregnancy, from unwanted pregnancy. Therefore, they will go full blast and they will now get uh, sexually transmitted infection. Thirdly, there is something that is so uh, rampant. That one is PID, pelvic inflammatory disease, also so part of an infection, but that one also it has its own repercussions. And the repercussions are very much, very much uh, graveyard. So please, young ladies and men and women who are, who are, who are, who are really taking these pills without, without cautionary measures, please take, take note that these are methods that also can expose you to, to, to HIV. And HIV risk is so high because they indulge in, in, in areas that are not, not, not purposefully. That, that, that to note on the line of, of complication is something to do with the hormonal imbalance. Hormonal imbalance because this, this e pill is, 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 it has high level of progesterone as, as an active ingredient. So with this active ingredient, it, it, it affects the, the hormonal profile of a woman. And therefore, you find that you'll be having just funny bleeding, you have some funny painful men sense, which we call dysmenorrhea. And therefore, just be conscious enough that um, when you indulge in this activity, there are some repercussions. Last on the list of, uh, of complications is infertility. By any chance, if, uh, if, the, if the fallopian tubes are ruptured, by any chance if the, 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 the hormonal balance arises, by any chance, you'll find that now infertility will set in. That one is might be primary infertility or secondary infertility. That one is something that uh, also will be happening because of, of hormonal uh, because of hormonal change and because of, of using a lot of hormones in their body. So it's just a cautionary measure that this this activity that follows this behavior or, or acts that follows as complication they are very expensive because at the end of the day another bad complication is death. And uh, <clears throat> death, and to avoid that death to happen because of severe bleeding, internal bleeding, somebody will be transfused with blood. And this transfusion, we usually avoid it because at the end of the day, you don't know the screening level of this blood. So you can easily get an infection that uh, through transfusion. So you can avoid transfusion in all totality by avoiding EPIL so that we avoid also death. EPIL is not a drug. EPIL is not food. EPIL is not a family planning method. That's the healthy talk that I can give you guys that please when you are using EPIL, when you are using EPIL, please know that the complications are bad. Secondly, the young generation that is now at home because of maybe celebrating a success of the of the examination maybe they want also to explore they want to have experience in sexual activities and sexual act in sexual behaviors and also to send a cautionary measure that please stop using e pills because e pills they are going to to let you down you take them after 72 hours thinking you have protected yourself but the repercussions are massive and therefore you might end up in in a, in, a, in, in, in a situation that you'll never, that you'll regret all the days of your life. Therefore, my last remark is that can you kindly uphold parental guidance? 
secondly can you kindly uphold christian values fourth can you change your behaviors because changing your behaviors is adopting good character avoiding uh, criminal activities avoiding drug drug use avoiding bad company then you'll find that you'll not indulge in a, in a behavior on sexual activities that thinking you're protecting yourself with a pill but you're letting down yourself at the end of the day you'll have bad repercussion in the future thank you very much for listening to me and uh, please a pill is not food a pill is not a family planning method a pill is not is not uh, something to joke about with because it will render you infertile in future. Caution by Thank you very much.